since you asked for more examples so here you go more examples for ionic bond ionic compound so here let's take sodium atom and fluorine atom so because sodium has 11 protons and 11 electrons here it's electrically neutral the charges are equal and opposite charges cancel out and here same thing with the fluorine now we are focusing mainly on valence electrons so here it is one valence electrons because 281 that's the electron configuration and if you look for fluorine it is 2 and 7 because it is its total 9 electrons okay so here this one one electron is going to transfer to fluorine and as a result this fluorine will have eight valence electrons and when this one valence electron is transferred and you can hide this shell meaning it will be we don't we won't even need the shell because that electron will be donated to non-metal so it will be eight valence electrons right here all right and at the bottom is the electron configuration you can see here one first shell so you have two electrons second shell two plus six that one is eight and the last one is one and for fluorine 1s2 2s2 2p5 the first shell is two electrons and the second shell you look at the principal energy level two and two all right second prin principal energy level it has five and two which is seven valence electrons so these both sodium and fluorine atoms they are neutral and their properties are entirely different from the properties of the compound they form after they react okay so here you go right here so this arrow means we are now reacting them now this one as i said the one valence electron is lost so eight valence electrons now this one becomes just like neon at least externally it can pretend it can say oh i am neon even though it's not just because of the external electron configuration it is 2 plus 8 it is 10 which is equivalent to the electron configuration of neon and you know neon is the nearest noble gas for sodium and the octet is complete for sodium ion same here the octet is complete for fluoride ion here because 2 and then 8 it is 8 valence electrons all right so how do we know it is just one plus charge look here you have 11 protons 11 electrons and what happens this one the proton is prevalent here and how many protons one that's why you have one positive here electrons are prevalent how many one and you have one negative and octet is complete so it's it, it is sodium fluoride all right sodium fluoride it's a new substance with new properties let me so that was one example let me take one more example quickly um i have taken this example of magnesium chloride magnesium 282 two, because it is 2 12 12 electrons so 2 8 and 2 is the electron configuration so 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 all right and for chlorine so magnesium has to lose two electrons in order to be stable to have complete octet so if i hide this here watch if i hide this it will be eight valence electrons all right now here chlorine one chlorine needs only one more electron to complete the octet so one atom of magnesium will need two chlorine atoms because it has to donate two electrons so each one gains one electron from magnesium again this is electrically neutral they both are electrically neutral compounds equal number of protons and electrons for magnesium 12 12 for chlorine 17 and 17 and they're com incomplete octet because two valence electrons and seven valence electrons electron configuration is right here as well 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 this one is the first shell this one is the second principal energy level second shell and that one is the third and here third is the outermost shell so how many shells are here one two three and you have learned that earlier that the number of shells are equivalent to the period number of that element and the valence electrons are equivalent to the group number for a group elements only all right so this one is two electrons two valence electrons meaning magnesium belongs to group 2a 
and it has one, two, three, three shells, three energy levels. It means it belongs to period number three on a periodic table. And similarly, it's the same thing for chlorine. We have to look at the number of shells and we look at the valence electrons to tell the group number. Again, the octet is incomplete. So magnesium, chloride, magnesium and chlorine, they, are, they have different properties if you compare to the properties of the compound they make. All right, so let me move to the right here. Okay, now this magnesium ion, when it lost two electrons, you remember? I just said here it lost two electrons. If it loses two electrons, you get eight valence electrons. So that's what happened here. It lost two electrons and now it has eight valence electrons. Similarly here, chlorine, earlier it was seven valence electrons. Now it is eight for both of them. And here, which one is prevalent? It lost two electrons. That means it has two extra protons. That's why it is two plus charge. Here for chlorine, one chlorine gains one electron, so one negative charge. One is metallic ion, another one is non-metallic. And now this magnesium ion can say, oh, I'm just like neon. So because it has now properties of neon. And then this one, this electron configuration is equivalent to neon. Similarly for chlorine, it can pretend as if it is argon because of the electron configuration. So there are electron configuration of these ions is isoelectronic with the noble gas. They are happy. That's why we have a smiley face here. All right. Just remember that we always need a metal and a non-metal. We look for the electronegativities differences which are more and more. But okay. So here you go for magnesium chloride. Two electrons are lost, one electron is gained. And also here, for one magnesium, this is one, all right, one magnesium. For one magnesium, we need two chlorine atoms. That's, that's why I have this thing here at the bottom. I wrote for one magnesium atom, I need two chlorine atoms to make magnesium chloride. So this is just to show the electron neutrality because compounds always have to have a zero charge compounds are neutral so when you look at the final answer i don't have any plus or minus here okay let me see if i covered everything okay here is the electron configuration for magnesium 1s2 2s2 2p6 um that's a shorthand notation i have put helium here that we're going to that's in my another video so here again same thing here this one from here to here is neon and then we have 3s2 and 3p6 which is equivalent to argon okay so let me put this slide like this in case you want to take a picture okay here you go go ahead if you want to take a picture here is a whole thing for you okay let me see all right Okay, and then let's go this side. You can take a picture of this, the whole thing, left and right both. So here comes a question. Let me see, I have questions here. Check for understanding. So why is chemical formula for sodium chloride is NaCl and not NaCl2? So you have to think about it, okay? We're going to discuss in class, but I still want you to think about it. And similarly, magnesium chloride, why is it MgCl2 and not MgCl? Well, I'm giving you an example, like hint here. You got to think of stable ions. So how many electrons are required to, to be lost or to begin to complete the octet? So think, think that, and that will actually take you to the correct answer. Okay, now here, explain why or why not the following compounds can form ionic compounds. Since we are dealing with ionic compound, again, you have to think, I'm, I have given you a hint here that ionic compounds are formed by transfer of electrons from metals to non-metals. What does that mean? That means when you look at these pairs, you have to have 
on the left you need a metal which is going to lose electrons and on the right you need a non-metal which is going to gain electrons okay so look for the combination look at the periodic table which of these combinations can form an ionic compound and which one cannot and not only that we don't stop there we need to know why okay so be ready to explain as well okay all right take care thank you for watching guys